was first looking at it, I was right. like, oh hey, it's got that ending. Got, it's got that imperfect of ceiling ending. What is that? But. But. What's kind of word conjunction. is that? Conjunction. Conjunction. So you know that, or ak, or any conjunction, I don't know. You, there's like, I'll give you, but the big ones are said and at, then you know this. it's two different clauses. Talking. Doesn't make sense, no. right? So logically, it's what case? Because that's the thing. Because it's deponent. It looks passive, but it's not. Like you're you're like less likely to give a anything, anything object. Yeah, something. You know, anything. They're all serious. Kirk and I, we just stare angrily. I'm thinking possibly of pursuing teaching Latin as like a career. And so I wanted to have the opportunity to see what it's like to teach Latin. Like, it's been a positive experience. Like, I really enjoyed teaching Latin because mm -hmm. it's like something to, that's super important to me that I want other people to know. Like, I'm still, like, even outside of this class, I teach mm -hmm. people Latin just, like, randomly. You can ask anyone that I talk to on a regular basis. And I talk about Latin. So, like, this was mm -hmm. a nice formalized experience of that. So yeah, my stuttering sister, good job. I don't know why I chose, made her stutter, but this is a thing. When uh, Professor Lee uh, told us that he was looking for like Latin teachers, I just kind of jumped on it because this is, I love explaining things I love and I love Latin a lot and I just thought it'd be a good experience to see if I actually wanted to teach it in the future and I definitely after this class have decided I really want to teach it in the future. <laughs> this class was like such a uh, community like it was we ate lunch together and we hung out a lot and I had like made a bunch of friends in this class that I had never met before and so it like becomes like this really cool community and you also get to learn a really cool language so I mean I was sort of just looking to s for something to do over winter term at first because I didn't feel like I was ready to like make my own project and I kind of wanted to stay on campus I don't know, I've never been much of a language person, so this has been a new experience for me, and I've definitely learned a lot. It's such like a small group that you end up being so close-knit with after a while. So that was fun. We like make so many jokes in class. Yeah, it was very fun. <laughs> I was thinking about that. Teaching has really helped me go back to my basic grammar. It forces you to like pick apart grammar in a way that I've never had to do as an, like, in English. And it's definitely made my grammar better, and it's made my writing better. You know, I made way more connections this year teaching it than I've ever gotten and made by, by just taking it. They should take this a class like this so that they can fully immerse themselves in the subject and get the opportunity to experience it, not necessarily within like the context of a stressful semester, but like of a nice relaxed winter term you know, experience. It's definitely a lot more casual. Even if it's going faster, it's like as teachers or students, so it's just like a whole bunch of students in a room talking about Latin. See, that's another part of why it's fun. Yeah. It's, it's a bunch of 19-year-olds writing sentences, not classicists. Latina in Oberlinne est bona. Itawero. Itawero.